see that, but I've just popped into the greenhouse. Um, it's 20.8 degrees, so it's pleasantly warm. And I'm going to show you my spuds. So this is the pot that I planted up oh, some weeks ago. And the soil's been topped up. And the foliage is above that level now. So I think we're going to have some nice spuds in here. And these, which were only done about a week ago. This one, nothing is yet. And again, nothing in this one. But this one's peeking through. And this one's got a little shoot coming as well. So I'm going to have to top these up, make sure they're nice and moist. And while I'm in here, I've just noticed there's more runner beans coming along the outside. So as long as the frost doesn't get to them. These are all the blotty beans. And I made a decision this morning to pick them all and bring them in the greenhouse to dry simply because it's getting much colder in the night and the temperatures are starting to get down to single figures and everything has just been damp we've had so much rain that my fear was that these might start to rot if they weren't uh, brought in. I'm not entirely sure if that's the right decision, but at least they'll they'll dry now in here. And once they're all dried, I can um, pod them and then store them for the winter. This one actually. Can you hear that? They're loose in there, so they're ready. There's a few there that are almost dry, and this one, if I shake it, you can probably hear the beans loose inside. So they're they're perfect for podding and storing. And then over here, these are still quite green, and they need to um, dry. But I think now I've actually taken this one off the pod that's not going to get any bigger so that's probably not a good idea to keep those but these are nice and plump they just need to dry off so it's, I'm quite pleased I've never grown them before and I've picked loads already and I've got half a jar full already stored so I'm quite pleased with this for my first harvest ever of blotty more flowers on the peppers another one starting to darken this one's turning as is this one And this one I've noticed at the back here, some new fruit come in. So I'm really pleased with how these have turned out. This is one of the lemons. It's doing so well in here. These are an experiment. This is new to the garden, and I first saw these on um, another YouTube channel, the Swiss Plot, which um, is the lovely Tamara's plot in Switzerland. And she has these, and I noticed that she uses them for all her lettuce. 
Well, I planted, oh, I think it was about five or six lettuce in this row. And here as well. And the slugs have had the lot. I think there was about 10 plants, 10 or 12 plants. And this is all I've got left. And I've tried everything to stop the slugs. I come out at night with my torch. So in desperation, I've bought these and we'll see if they work. this bed now but one thing I wanted to point out to you is where I've removed the blotty beans. I've only cut the plants down at soil level so you can see that stem now. There's another one here. And um, the reason you do that is because beans are able to uh, produce and retain nitrogen to help feed the plant. If you um, cut the plant at ground level when you remove it that um, held nitrogen is then released back into the soil so it will help fertilize and feed any other plants that go in so that's why we do that I'm no chef but I do like to potter about in the kitchen and I'm making a kind of a pasta sauce or a tomato sauce as a basis for lots of meals, you can use them in curries, um, in bolognese, um, and other pasta dishes. So these are some of the tomatoes I picked before I pulled the plants up. They were green, so I've been waiting for them to ripen. And actually, if I come over to this side of the kitchen, I've still got these that need ripening. So I'm going to um, give these um, a drizzle of olive oil, give them a bit of a mix up and then they're going to roast in the oven for about an hour and when they cool I'm going to blitz them and then that can go in the freezer. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay so I've just given that a really good drizzle of olive oil, it's been seasoned with salt and pepper but just to let you know what's in there is the everything that is homegrown. So there are the tomatoes, white onions, red onions, um, there's some young beans, what else, uh, peppers. I've even put um, some radish in because they're quite peppery. So there's some radish, uh, chili peppers, carrots, Oh, and some rosemary. I think that's about everything. It smells lovely. So that's going in the oven now, and I'll show you what I do with it when it comes out. Well, it's all nicely charred, which is how you want it. So I'll just bring you over so you can see. Okay, 
I'm just giving this a good blitz. And now I'm just going to box it up for the freezer. So I've boxed up two lots of the pasta sauce and I've just weighed them. They're about 350 grams a box. So when I come to use those, I will probably add um, a 200 gram tin of plum tomatoes which will sweeten it up a little bit more and loosen it as well that make it go further um, but I don't add sugar I never add sugar to things like this but if you've got a sweet tooth you could add um, a teaspoon of sugar to it so basically you can use any of the vegetables that you've got available in your garden you can have it as hot as you like so add chilies and um, there's garlic in there as well or um, if you don't like it hot, well then obviously don't add the chilies. Blitz it up um, and save it for a rainy day. It's it's just really useful. I've got probably about 15 boxes in the freezer now of um, the sauce that I've made with different vegetables. So not one, sorry, not two boxes really or two batches will taste exactly the same. And it's just hit and miss really what you add what you like um, but it's it's a really good uh, base for many meals curries uh, bolognese all sorts of things like that so that's what I've done today really pleased with that and I've got to go and do some housework now and I might even have a cup of coffee and then I'll come back five minute break I've been doing housework most of the day and other jobs that I need to do that I've neglected of late um, so I haven't spent an awful lot of time in the garden so far but um, I thought I'd just show you these this will be my next task I won't be doing it today and I'm back at work tomorrow so maybe some point at the weekend because I'm on a late shift so I don't start till quite late on Saturday. So I've got my broad beans which are a Dolce Claudia so it says that they can be direct sown from November and December but I might actually get those in and my overwinter peas are Meteor and it says they can be directly sown from October so I shall definitely get those in. Um, they're probably gonna go where the broad beans gonna go where the um, blotty and French climbing beans were. I think the peas are gonna have to go somewhere close to where the um, celeriac and the courgette is at the moment so I'll have to have a, a think about that prepare the ground but I won't be doing anything more in the garden today, so I'm just having my coffee. And I'm watching a rather scruffy wood pigeon sitting on my bird feeder. It's got something wrong with its feathers on its head. It looks like it's been roughed up a bit. If I get an opportunity, I will show you. But I've got a feeling he might fly off. So until next time, take care everyone, speak to you soon.